We're going to be adding doubles. This is lesson 3.3. Double facts are addition sentences that have double numbers. They have add-ins that are the same. Look at this. We have 1 plus 1. The add-ins are the same. 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3. These are all double facts, and the add-ins are the same. We're adding the same number together. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. We can count on with either add-end. We don't have to pick a bigger one because of the same number. We can start at 2 and count on 3, 4. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. 3 plus 3, we can count on from the 3, 4, 5, 6. We can count on from the 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can count on from the 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can count on from 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can count on from the 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Do you know the next double fact? If you look at what we've done so far, we did 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 4 plus 4, 5 plus 5, 6 plus 6, 7 plus 7. So you know what's going to go here. Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to do 8 plus 8. 8 plus 8. And we can count on from 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. We have 9 plus 9. We can count on from 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. 10 plus 10, we can count on from 10. There's 10 here. We can count on from this 10 and add this 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. In fact, do you see what happened? We're adding the zeros together and we got a zero and we added the one plus one together and got a two. We're going to talk about that some more in some videos that are coming up soon. We can find the sum and circle the doubles. 5 plus 2, we start with the larger number and count on 2. 5, 6, 7. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. 4 plus 4, we start with the 4 and count on 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 6 plus 1 is 6, 7. It's easy to add 1, isn't it? 3 plus 3, we start with the 3 and count on 3, 3, 4, 5, 6. 8 plus 0, when we add 0 to a number, the number stays the same, so it's 8. 6 plus 6, we start with the 6 and count on 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. Now we need to circle the ones that are doubles. Do you see the ones that are doubles? That means the add-ins are the same. So if you said 4 plus 4, you're right. That's a double. Do you see more? 3 plus 3, that's a double. And there's one more. 6 plus 6, that's a double. 
Those are the doubles. Double facts. We can write a doubles fact to solve this problem. Bob and Dave each put six cookies on a plate. How many cookies are on the plate? Well, if Bob and Dave each put six cookies on a plate, that means Bob put six and Dave put six. So we're going to do six for Bob and six for Dave. Now we can count on to add them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six plus six is equal to twelve. There's twelve cookies on the plate. There are 16 dogs at the park. Some are big dogs, some are small dogs. The number of big dogs is the same as the number of small dogs. So now do you notice that the equal sign and the sum are going to go in the front here? So that means we're going to have 16 here because that's how many are in all. And we need to figure out what add-ins could be here that are the same numbers, that are doubles. What can we add together to make 16 that would be doubles facts? We can make one big dog, one small dog, one big dog, one small dog, because the numbers are the same, aren't they? One big dog, one small dog. How many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. We need 16. We can make another big dog and another small dog. Now we have seven, eight dogs. We need 16. We can make, make another big dog and another small dog. Now we have nine, ten. Another big dog, another small dog. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now there's the same number of big dogs as small dogs. How many are there of each? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be eight plus eight. See how drawing counters or dots can help us? Circle the doubles fact and the sum. Would six plus five be doubles fact? Well, doubles fact means we're adding the same number. So that would be 6 plus 6. So this would be the correct add end. And what would be the correct sum? Would 6 plus 6 be 11 or 12? We can actually look back at our other problems. We see we did 6 plus 6 here, and it was 12. We did 6 plus 6 here, and it was 12. We could use that to help us. We can also count on 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we know for sure that 12 is the correct sum. Now there's also patterns when we add doubles. When we do 1 plus 1, it equals 2. 1, 2. If we add one more to this add end and we make it a 2, and we add one more to this add end and make it a two, that means we're adding one more and one more, which is two more. So if this sum is a two, then this sum must be two more. So it's a four. We had two and then two. If we add one more to this two, it'll be a three. If we add one more to this two, it'll be a three. We're adding one more and one more. That's two more in all. The sum of this one is going to be two more than this one. We have four, so that means we'll have four and two more. We'll have four, five, six. See the pattern? It's making two more every time we go up with these numbers. If we add one more to this three and make it a four, and one more to this three and make it a four, we're adding one more and one more, that's two more in all, then we're going to have our six and two more, six and two more, six, seven, eight. Four plus four is equal to eight. And we can keep doing it. If we add one more to the four and make it a five, and one more to this four and make it a five, then this sum is going to be two more than this one because we've added two more in all, eight, 
9, 10. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. We can do it again. If we add one more to this 5 and make it a 6, and one more to this 5 and make it a 6, we've added two more in all. This sum is going to be two more than this one, 10, 11, 12. 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. Each sum was two more. See the pattern? Here's our counting numbers to 12. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can write them on a number line. All the numbers are on a line. And we can add 3 plus 3. We start at the 3, the first add-in, and we make 3 hops. 1, 2, 3. That lands us on 6. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. We can do it again. We can do 7 plus 7. We start at the 7. See? And we're going to do 7 hops because we're adding another 7. We start at the 7 and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hops. That puts us at 14. 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. We can make equal groups and write a doubles fact for each sum. We need to find out something plus something equals 6. What we can do is make a big group here and a big group here and take turns making equal groups with some dots. It has to equal 6. We can do 1 and 1. That's 2. 3, 4, 5, 6. How many did we put into each group? We put 3. 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Let's try that again for 8. We can make a big group and another big group, and we can take turns putting dots in them as we count up to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How many dots are in each group? 4. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. Let's try it with 18. We'll make a big group. We'll make another big group. And we're going to take turns putting dots in here, counting up to 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. How many dots are in each group? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's be sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. That's adding doubles. The add-ins are the same. In our next lesson, we're going to use doubles to add other numbers. The doubles will help us. That's lesson 3.4. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. And I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you next video. Bye.